I am f***ing done. I am done. I am done begging a mother to love me. Done begging him to spend time with me. Like, I swear, some of us women have more balls than you coward-ass men. You take good women. You take good women and you f***ing break us down till we can't take no more till every f***ing man we see makes us want to vomit. More honestly. Do not date a woman for three months, and I use that term loosely, date, because he never took me on a date, or even planned one in the house, Mr. Anxiety. Do not date a woman for three months, cur, lead her to believe you want a relationship, literally spend a whole entire week with her, and then ghost her for four days, and dump her, and then tell her it's just because you don't have romantic feelings for her. Why? What the? F I've been talking to a guy. We've been texting. It was great. He said, I'm five minutes away from picking you up. I got all dressed up for our date. And boom, I'm blocked. <laughs> he stood me up. And I don't understand why <laughs> men treat good women like. Like, I am an amazing woman. Huge heart. Very loyal. Bruh. And men just play with my feelings. That's all they do. Just make it make sense. <laughs> make it make sense. I don't know what it's like to be in the presence of a real man, a leader, somebody that you know is going to protect you. Like, it kills you to see your wife or your girlfriend happy. You have shit on that. Like, fuck you men and your mommy issues. We are not your fucking enemies. But I'm done. I am so done. I'm tired of hurting. I never deserved this shit. <laughs> I think that it's okay to come and say whatever they want to people. To get their hopes up. To have them let their guard down. To be told things. And then they go and a couple days later they just say the complete opposite. Why even, why even waste somebody's time? Not only mine but yours. I'm so tired of people not saying what they want from the start. I'm so tired of people coming and just getting someone's hopes up. Okay, ladies, I'm going to tell you something that the rest of the world won't. You don't need to have a hoe phase. I got a DM from a girl that's kind of like my age, and she asked me if I thought that that was like, a necessary part of life. All her friends are telling her like this is the time of your life to like sleep around, be promiscuous, not get emotionally attached to guys, just like hop around from one guy to the next and she's like, "Am I do I need to do this?" Um, my opinion is no. <laughs> Nobody needs to do that. In fact, I think there are a lot of downsides to the whole hookup culture in general and this idea that before you can settle down, you need to like go crazy. And I think it's really ironic that the like postmodern feminist movement right now kind of seems to be pushing this idea of like, you know, women should be promiscuous and like, because it, you know, makes them feel more like equal to men. I don't think that that's true. I think that hookup culture, according to the studies that I've looked at, um, harms women and it doesn't fulfill what women really want. It fulfills what toxic, like non-committing men want, but for women, it usually um, doesn't do much. Regarding hookups, men and women were both asked the same kind of questions and the reason for hookup regret for women was that they felt used a lot of times and they um, kind of regretted that. And for men, their biggest regret was that the woman they were with wasn't attractive enough. How is this empowering for women to tell them to just go like sleep with these kind of guys? Like that's not, that's not empowerment, honey. 
you don't need to do that what's up youtube thank you so much for coming back to my channel so once again these are older women probably in their 40s who regret the hookup culture they regret being played by men who broke their heart and all that but before i even dive into today's video I want to take time to appreciate this woman. I'm really excited that there are women like this in today's world who believe that you don't have to sleep around to prove a point. You don't have to be jumping from one man to the other to prove that you, you, are, you are confident about your body and all that. I'm super excited that she set the point straight. Now, I really feel sad for these women because you can tell that they are heartbroken, their feelings have been played with and all that i feel sad no one deserves to be heartbroken but once again you all should remember that these women probably have rejected the good men the good men are in their dms and they are still rejecting them now i don't know if i'm sounding crazy but i feel like this woman should be happy that the men left them when they were only dating because what if he goes ahead to marry you this man probably have seen a red flag he probably has realized that he can't spend the rest of his life with you you should appreciate the fact that he has left rather than getting married to you and then later on having problems in the marriage which is gonna even be worse than this so you should be happy that he has left he has made his intentions straight this is what i think now i am going to go ahead and read a few of the comments that came in let's get straight into Right. lots of good men want relationship and they were in friend zone or nope zoned they choose the guys that pump and dump well i think i will agree with this comments because lots of women love the bad guys leaving the good guys behind so yeah i agree with this comment men if you get involved with a woman and you decide it is not going to work out just break it off if you ghost her do not ever respond to her calls texts or emails you don't hold her anything well i don't think i agree with this comment because i think i think when you break up with someone you should let the person know why you can't go ahead with the relationship tell them your reasons so that maybe they start working on themselves or something don't just ghost them and start airing their messages i think that is not fair there is no such thing as a loyal woman for one and every woman believes she's a good woman of course every woman believes she's a good woman but also i think there are loyal women out there same way there are loyal men out there don't be fooled by the few unloyal ones that you've met because there are loyal women out there all right guys these are some of the comments that came in please make sure you subscribe to this channel let's get interactive in the comment section let me know what you think about this particular video and yeah i hope to see you in my next video please make sure you stay safe out there bye